hello friends welcome to my channel go digit well today i am very much excited because uh, i have already installed the latest version of business central yes guys i am talking about the latest version which has been launched by microsoft in april 2021 and the version of this business central is bc18 so as you can see from this web address the bc180 so this is the latest version and i have already installed it and i hope and i know that all the guys who are actually working in the business central uh, have already installed or if they have not installed then they are looking forward to install the same so just to make your task easier i will share the download link in my description section okay so from there you can check the check out that link and download the latest version of the business central okay guys so moving forward one of my recommendation is for all the clients who are currently running the business central version 13 14 or 16 17 so if you are running the SaaS version that means the cloud version then I hope and I know that Microsoft have already uh, upgraded your current business central version to the latest business central version and in case if you are running the uh, on-premises version then I just suggest you to please rush and discuss the same with your partner to upgrade to this latest version okay guys so that's all with the recommendation part now let's move to the main part of this video where i would like to share whatever the new features have been introduced in this latest version so i was checking out this link which has been available in the msdn website or the docs.microsoft.com so i will share this link also in the description section from there you can check out all the features which have been introduced in the new version so while checking this out i check this functionality which is dimension correction for gl entries so guys uh, i have already read this out and i have already tried this out tried this out also so just i would like to focus this uh, in this video about this topic okay so in this video we will learn what exactly this dimension correction is all about and how we can do this in the latest version okay so let's move forward to the business central and click on the search button and type here gl entries okay and click here so these are the GL entries or the posted GL entries I would say against the documents uh, like sales order purchase order or any invoice document okay so this new function about dimension correction is something that let's say if you have posted any document and that document entries are have already moved in the GL part now we all know that there is no provision in the system to change the dimension of the posted document okay currently what we all do is that we have to scrap the complete posted document in case we found any discrepancy related to the dimension okay so now just to eradicate this issue what Microsoft have suggested to us that they have introduced the concept of dimension correction in the posted GL entry section. So when you click on the entry part, you will see these two functions. The first one is correct dimension and the second one is history of dimension corrections. Okay, so when we click on this link, we will, uh, system will give us an option to change the dimension of this posted document. 
and when we click on this option it will give us the glimpse of the or you can say the history of whatever the corrections we have made using this option in the posted document okay so <clears throat> let's begin with this that if I select this document or this entry and if I click on entry and check on the dimensions part so the current di uh, dimension which is assigned to this entry is department ADM or administration department okay so now if I want to change this uh, in case of any scenario when where user have uh, mistakenly posted this document with this incorrect dimension so what we can do is we can either go to the GL register part and from there we can select the GL entries or we can directly open up the GL entries page and from here we can click on the correct dimensions function so when we click on this function it will open up this page so guys this is a separate page by itself and here as you can see we have a new button also so that we can separately create this dimension correction document and select the entries manually for which we would like to change the dimension okay so but uh, here we have uh, used this function through our posted GL entries so automatically you can see in the selected ledger entries section my entry is available okay so in case if I create a, if I want to create a new document for this dimension correction so let's see like this now this is a complete new page and here as you can see there is no selected ledger entries currently available but yes of course we have a provision here so let's say if I click on this manage button then obviously we can use this function like select manually or add by dimension or add related entries like these in order to check or select the posted GL entries in my respective document but that's the manual part and now let's move back to our original page so this is my entry which I would like to where I would like to change the dimension okay so this is my selected ledger entry and in this section of the page it is showing us that the current department dimension is ADM for this entry and the new dimension value code is whatever the value I would like to input here so let me select this to production let's say okay so that's it in case you would like to assign any new dimension to your entry then also you can do the same but I will stick to my main dimension which is department and let's proceed further so in the general tab we have the fields like last modified eight last modified by and so on okay now the current status is as you can see it is draft so we are doing the changes in it so it has not completed yet now uh, there is another checkbox which is update analysis views so guys if we want that our analysis views are also updated with the with this correction then we can check this out okay check this to true so this means that when we run this batch system not only correct the dimension in my selected GL entry but it will also run the batch which will update my analysis view in the background okay here in the description you can mention the description part that because uh, wrong dimension changing sorry changing dimension from ADM to prod okay so this is my description 
Now, uh, in the ribbon part, you can see that there are two functions available. The first one is validate dimension changes. The second one is run. Okay. So one option is that we can directly click on this function and it will update the document or update the dimension. But in case if we want to validate my change in order to know that if there is any discrepancy with the new dimension which I have selected for this document or not. Okay. So just to check out those things, I can click on this function first. And obviously I would like to run this batch immediately. So I will check this to true and click on OK. So job to validate dimension correction was successfully scheduled. Okay. So this was my entry. Now let's me go to the history of dimension correction. Okay. Select this. And this is the history of my selected entry. Okay. And as you can see, the status is currently draft only. So select this. And now, as you can see the validation status, the dimension correction was validated on this date and this time. So this means that my validation has already been run. Okay. Now the second thing is that we now have to focus on my second function which is run so let's click here now this will actually do the changes now as I said that when I run this function then only system will update my dimension my selected entry okay then obviously I will select this run immediately to yes about these scheduling parameters, these are uh, the parameters which we generally use in my job queues. Okay, so for example, if you want to schedule this batch or if you want to schedule this correction to any particular date or to any particular time, then you can always schedule the same from these parameters. But I don't want to do that. I want to do this immediately. So I will click here and click on OK. So the dimension correction was successfully scheduled and as you can see the status is changed from draft to in process. Okay. So let's move back to my GL entries page and let's click on the entry again and select the history of document correction and see the status is now completed. So this means my dimension is changed from ADM to prod. Just to verify the same, let me go to the dimension and as you can see, the new dimension is updated as prod, which means production. Okay, so this is how we can use this new function which have been introduced in this latest business central version. And I hope uh, you guys have now understood the concept behind these two functions and uh, Guys, these functions are like you could say that are very much required because in real scenarios, we almost everybody encountered these issues where uh, the complete document which was posted by the user is correct, but they mistakenly uh, selected wrong dimension in that posted document. And now because of that, they want to scrap that document completely. So obviously there should be some provision to update the dimensions in the posted document and Microsoft have now listened to all our requests and they have now provided this function long pending requested function in this latest business central function or software. Okay. So this was one of the latest feature which I thought I would uh, should I should share with all of you. And uh, about the second function or the second feature which they have introduced is something uh, like inventory receipt. Yes, inventory receipt. So this is again a kind of new document which they have introduced in the latest version. I will not go into much detail of this document, but just to give you a brief definition about this document is 
that uh, all of us whenever we go or whenever we prepare for the go live for any of our client definitely we have to upload the balances or the inventory of the items in the database so for that process for that requirement we generally use the item journal where we post the inventory via positive adjustments so that was particularly a journal entry but with these documents have been introduced in the latest version we can increase our inventory or we can upload the opening balances opening inventory through these documents through these complete documents as you can see it is a complete document like just like our sales order or invoices where we can provide each and every information which we require to uh, for our inventory opening balances so these this is the document which they have introduced apart from it they have also introduced the inventory shipment so this is again the same document same kind of document but here uh, we this function or this page we will use whenever we want to scrap the inventory whenever we want to reduce the inventory for any particular reasons okay so uh, we will check out these pages in the later uh, or in the future videos right now i will uh, not uh, make this video much longer because uh, just to shorten this video I will uh, close the video now and I hope uh, you all of you have now install the latest version of the business central and start using the same so I just uh, can say only one thing that guys please start using this latest version and also please do take care of yourself in this pandemic time thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel it boosts my confidence thank you so much